I feel like I am officially getting sick because the air outside is so humid and so, so wet and the air inside with air conditioning is so dry and my throat is like, nope, and I cannot afford to be sick. I cannot afford to be sick. I have surgery in a few days so we get wisdom teeth out. I am scared and terrified of that as it is. I don't need to be getting sick at the same time. Anyway, it is like, I don't know, 9 a.m. and we are at Padachiao getting breakfast before the Rusang game time starts. Yes. You son of a biscuit. Oh. You son of a what? You son of a hay baling biscuit. Oh, my. You son of a hay baling hay baling biscuit. You son of a hay baling hay baling milk drinking biscuit. You son of a hay baling hay baling milk drinking backstabbing biscuit. You hay bailing thin lipped low down weasel. You hay bailing thin lipped low down owner a weasel. You hay bailing thin lipped low down <laughs> ornery steer. <laughs> <laughs> you hay bailing thin lipped taking a pile. <laughs> <laughs> you low down steer. You low down cattle rustling steer. <laughs> You low down cattle rustling rattlesnake. You low down cattle rustling rattlesnake. Oh, I gotta do my yep. uh, You low down. No, you're fine. You low down cattle rustling son of a rattlesnake. You low down cattle rustling son of a fancy talking rattlesnake. You low down cattle rustling son of a fancy talking fancy talking rattlesnake. <laughs> You low-down cattle rustling son of a fancy talking, fancy talking cur. I think I got all of these. You low down <laughs> son of a fancy talking, fancy talking cross-eyed cur. No, I'm cattle rustling. Cattle rustling. Cattle rustling. Cattle rustling. <laughs> Pamby mountain oyster. Yes. You namby pamby dung smelling mountain oyster. You namby pamby dung smelling ornery mountain oyster. You namby pamby dung smelling ornery cross-eyed mountain oyster. You dung smelling oh, namby pamby. Oh, namby pamby. Aha. <laughs> the situation gets, Derek just gets like calmer and calmer and calmer <laughs> and makes more and more uh, uh, big, uh, the plans, I love, like, like solid. He just starts like, making more plans and more yeah, pressure. He's like, I'm just yes, gonna make more plans. Yes, like someone is always needed in a, in a, in a situation to like, especially if something goes wrong, to be like, instead of everyone freaking out, like everybody take a breath and calm down and make a plan and it's 100% we'll Derek. Mm -hmm. It's always Derek. And he's able to transmit that entire message like this. <laughs> he just looks at you and you know, yeah. right, take a breath, and if I, moment. If, if I'm in a okay. scenario where something goes wrong, I'll be like, what would Derek do right now? <laughs> Has anybody seen Derek freak out? Uh, well, uh, I, I went to an Ed Nails concert with her twice. <laughs> you freaked out like, oh my god, this is amazing? Or like, yeah. oh my god, I'm freaking out because oh, I don't no, play amazing. And I just felt like, like, like he Somebody's was putting up with me because I was dating Tony, but you know. But then I finally was like, no, actually, I think he likes me. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> I, I did tell her after the very first time that better. Keynote, no, yeah, Derek is just very even keel. And the fact that he smiled is that you got it. That's the whole emotion. Or conveyance of emotion. Are we building a game about Derek? Yeah, Secret Derek. What a question. Secret Derek. Secret Derek. Totally need a game. Everybody gets to say totally blase. No, I can totally see this, right? Totally 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 disaster occurs and yeah. you need to be able to resolve it without anybody freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> All right.
I like that Derek's real life Uncle Iroh. <laughs> so she, she she now knows oh who God. Uncle Iroh is. I think you just made him cry inside. He's so happy. We like we talked about this last year at Gen Con, yeah. and I just no, it was so packed. Yeah, we were trying to figure out who who was what, and I was yeah. like, yeah. And that's Uncle Iroh. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Airbender. Just... The. Oh, the he's like he's like the Fire Nation guy who's oh, like maybe you should think about what you really want in life instead of just murdering people because it's fun. It's like he was awesome. It's, it's, like, a, it's, like, a, it's, like, a, it's like a mnemonic device, though, right? Isn't it? Hmm? It's a mnemonic device. Uncle Iro? Yeah, he's a character. I know, but it, it's a mnemonic device. No, it, it might be. I mean, the name might be a reference to something. Certainly, it's one of those ones of like my very awful mother made us sixteen pizzas. Like, oh yeah, like every every good something. boy deserves fudge. Yeah. Come in that are just nub sauce questions like, I don't know how to do it. What am I doing? I don't even know what Gen Con is. Uh, he still invites us to these cool events. Yeah. Let's hang out. Oh, it's because when you ask those dumb questions, you're nice about it. As opposed to plenty of other people who are not invited. <laughs> plenty of other people are like, I don't know the answer to this, and it's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Derek, you better turn around before you drink it. This is actually the first of pop. Give me a little more. We'll give it to you. Uh, there should be a bunch of cups in the hallway. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It, you know your like sweet corn ice cream is just like that. Yeah. All right, who's in for pickle soda? Pickle soda. Everybody ready? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Ready. Let's do it. Yeah. It's actually, actually the best. It's the best one we've had so far. It smells weird. Yeah, it smells weird. Oh, that food. Yeah, ironically, that is the best soda I expected. Like, yeah, out of all the bullshit sodas, yes. Like it, it, corn was gross. I mean, it's more carbonated lime than straight up pickle. <laughs> We got to see the clips at like, I don't know, 90-ish coverage, which is cool. I am almost certain that I'm getting sick right now. Um, I feel completely exhausted and drained, both emotionally and physically. My throat right here is just starting to swell up and give me problems. I'm just feeling all woozy in general, which is, which just means I'm getting sick and I cannot, I cannot afford to get sick right now.
Oh God. Okay. So here's what happened. I got really sick. Uh, whatever the last thing is that you saw. I got really sick last yesterday. I just got like shivery and hot. My throat like swole up. Fever, everything. So I just I just couldn't vlog anymore. Um Derek continued game night, they played Secrets, um L five R, a couple of games like that. And I just went to bed and I just couldn't sleep. I just spent like it's now like one. I think I just spent up until now tossing and turning and eating Dayquil or whatever it's called. I'm not good. I feel, I'm feeling better right this second. I hope it lasts because my flight is later today. And I haven't eaten, so I'm just eating Cheetos. Um, and I still don't feel great, but I just hope I can get home. And then I go to work tomorrow. Yay! Um, Gen Con is over. I'm not going to vlog the way home tonight. I don't see the point. You've seen it before. Um, Gen Con is over. It is sad. I cried a lot. It's just amazing. I love Gen Con. It's the highlight of my year. It still is. Gen Con 50 was amazing. My personal Yelp review? I would say 4.5. I think I'm still learning how to balance Gen Con. I think I hit it. I, I think I did a really good job of it, like, two-ish, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. I kind of keep swinging between, like, how many RPGs do I play? How much do I schedule at all? Um, how much do I under schedule? Things get cancelled. So the reason it's a 4.5, not a 5, is because of scheduling and my schedule not matching up with my friends and things being cancelled and just kind of being stuck by myself a lot. Which isn't bad, but I just wanted to hang out with my friends. And also getting sick and getting really sad on Friday. So, things I've learned and want to do different next year. Figure out the people I really want to spend a lot of time with at Gen Con and make sure that I plan my schedule to align with theirs a good bit. So when they have an event that I don't want to go to, schedule something else for that time. If uh, we have events that we all want to attend, go and go to those at the same time. Um, prepare that I'm going to get sad one of the days and sleep in that day and take it easy. So just don't plan shit on Fridays. Take better care of myself, sleep more. And I think if I do those things, then Gen Con will be even better. Derek, how did you like Gen Con? It was great. So he's going to keep making Gen Con better for all of us. Thank you, Derek. You're amazing. And we all thank you very much. I love you. He loves you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I got. I'm going to try and feel better and get back to real life. And I'll see you guys maybe at PAX. I don't know. Bye.